Yo, you looking for baseball varsity style jackets? Let's talk about it. Big size. Fat Man Scoop, Brooklyn Clan. What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop. And right now, you watching the Sensei, the number one, the king, my dude, Big Brando. He taught me, personally, me, Fat Man Scoop. All you gotta do is keep your mouth closed and your ears open. Listen to the man talk. That's knowledge personified right there. And I wouldn't trust nobody else but my dude, Big Brando. And I said it. Fat Man Scoop, Big Brando. Let's go. Satin everybody, boy Big Brando, and today let's talk about those satin baseball jackets or varsity jackets. Now I'm not talking about Letterman jackets, I'm not talking about leather sleeves, wool bodies, I'm not talking about anything like that. What I'm talking about is these right here. These types of baseball jackets that are nylon, they look like satin. They got the elastic sleeves, they got buttons. This is what I'm talking about. Now people always wanna know how do I source stuff like this? How do I find this kind of stuff? How much does it cost? And where can they get them? So I got two different options for you guys right here that we're gonna talk about today. We have the jacket that I'm used to using, that I've been using for a few years now, and we have the new jacket that's cheaper, and I like it a little bit better. I'll try it on for you guys, I'll show you guys a few of the differences, some of the things I like, and some of the things that I don't like. Now in the past, I've embroidered on these jackets, I've pressed transfers on these jackets, I've pressed on and sewed on patches on these jackets, and I think it's a cool thing to offer your customers. So first is a jacket that I'm used to using that I've been using for a few years now. That's made by Augusta. Hopefully that's in focus there. Augusta Sportswear is the one that makes this jacket right here. Has that satin shine to it. It's not that thick. There is some padding on the inside. There's a lining, polyester lining on the inside that's kind of like a felt type of material. Hopefully you can see that. Elastic ribbing around the collar, has buttons and snaps. Elastic on the end of the sleeve and elastic around the hips. Has two pockets. Pockets are lined, like I said, with that same type of lining. This jacket right here I've used for years. Pretty cool, not too bad. At the time of recording this, wholesale pricing on this jacket is about $26. Once again, this is made by Augusta Sportswear. The outside, 100% nylon, the inside, polyester lining but like i said this polyester lining kind of feels like felt it has like a little bit of a texture to it there it is now the new jacket that i just found a little bit thicker a little bit more padding feels a little heavier that's made by shock aware there's the branding shock aware comes with this little hang tag right here elastic collar snaps all the way down Inside pocket, elastic on the sleeves, and elastic around the waist. Same exact thing, pockets. This one has a lining also, polyester lining, but this one isn't textured. It's like, kind of feels like the outside of the jacket. Polyester inside, nylon on the outside. As a comparison, here is the Augusta jacket. Here is the Shaka jacket. You can see this one has like a little bit more of a shine to it. They consider this one their satin baseball jacket or satin varsity jacket. This is just Shaka's varsity jacket right here. This one has a little shine. This one's a little bit muted and not so shiny. If you're looking for the shiny stuff, here it is, satin style. This one right here is a little bit heavier and it's not as shiny. And for your information, the Shaka jacket, at the time of recording this video, wholesale pricing is about 20 bucks. Now, what you guys have to remember when it comes to pricing is I have no power over any of these companies changing their pricing at any given time. So at the time of recording this video, these are the current wholesale prices for these jackets. But who knows, by the time I post this video, the price could go up, price could go down. I have no power over that. I'm just letting you know what I paid for them currently at the time of recording this video. Now let's talk about color offerings. Obviously, these are two black and white jackets. Some people might want red or blue or whatever other colors. For the Shaka jacket, I remember seeing blue, red, and I think gray. 
and then this black one. For the Augusta jacket, I think they have blue, red, baby blue, pink, gold, and silver. I remember seeing those at the ISS trade show or Impressions Expo. I haven't tried any of the other colors. I just use the black ones because that's what my needs are. Now remember, if you wanted to use these jackets and you wanted to press patches, transfers, vinyl, whatever you wanna press onto these jackets, it can be done, but remember you have to buy the transfers or the heat transfer vinyl made for nylon. Before you do anything, ask the manufacturer, ask the company that you're ordering transfers from or vinyl from and say, do you guys have anything that's gonna be made for 100% nylon? That company will give you the ink formula made for nylon so you can press onto these jackets. Same goes with patches. Everything has a different application setting. This nylon stuff doesn't react too well under the heat. So a lot of times the application instructions are gonna be pressing a lot cooler than you would press onto a hoodie or a t-shirt. The duration time will be different because like I said, it's not gonna be stuck under the heat for so long. You could possibly melt these jackets. So before you press anything on them, make sure you're buying transfers or vinyl or patches made for nylon. Tell the company that you're ordering from so they can give you the correct ink formula and application instructions for nylon. I know a lot of you guys already bought transfers and you're pressing them on t-shirts and be like, man, I can just press that onto that jacket. You're gonna put this jacket under your heat press for 350 degrees for 15 seconds and end up melting this thing probably. So make sure you buy the transfers or the vinyl or the patches made for nylon. I can't stress that enough. Also, you've seen there's buttons on there. It's gonna help if you had a Teflon pillow, you could get those from Heat Press Nation. They sell them in a pack of a bunch of different sizes. You're gonna wanna raise the pressing surface over those buttons. Buttons. That's what that pillow is going to be used for. Or you could use mouse pads. Heat Press Nation also sells a whole pack of different size mouse pads. Easy call. Throw it up under there. All you're doing is lifting the pressing surface so you're not pressing directly on the buttons. The buttons are not going to give you an even press. So you're going to have to raise it up over the buttons so you get that even press. So now I'm going to take the camera. I'm going to try these jackets on just to show you what they look like. Both of these jackets are size 2X. Background on myself, I'm about 5'10", 220 pounds. I usually wear an extra large or sometimes a double X t-shirt. Right now I'm wearing an extra large t-shirt from AS Color. This is an AS Color classic white t-shirt that I'm wearing just for size reference so you can see how these jackets fit. All right, let me adjust the lights, set the camera up, and I'll try both jackets on for you. All right, first one right here is the Augusta Sportswear jacket. This is what it looks like. A little spin for you guys. Like I said, this is a 2X jacket. This is what it looks like when it's buttoned up. Here it is. Boom. Now, one thing I don't like is this lining right here. Feels a little weird on my skin. I mean, obviously when it's cold out, it feels okay, but I just feel like it doesn't move well within the jacket. It's also inside the pockets. I don't like the way that feels on my hands inside the pocket. This jacket is a little thinner than the other option. This is what it looks like. This is the Augusta sportswear jacket. Bingo. Collar's a little bit high on the neck. 2X, sleeves feel good, see that? Not a bad jacket. All right, here goes Shaka wear. This is the Shaka jacket. Size 2X, this one right here. Pockets feel a little bit more deep. I think one of these, this side has an inside pocket. This is what it looks like when it's buttoned up. Bingo. Once again, this is a two-way jacket. Pockets. This one's a little bit thicker, like meaning there's a little bit more padding, but also feels a little bit more fitted. Feels good on the body. Doesn't have that lining on the inside. The lining on here is polyester also, but it's like a smooth polyester. Sleeves fit good. Still a little bit of length on them, so they're not raising up. This jacket right here, for me, preferably fits better, feels better. I like the way this one fits. I like that the collar's not so high. It kind of just lands right at the shoulders. Bingo. Feels good, looks good. I prefer this jacket over the Augusta one. I will be switching over from the Augusta jackets to these now for one of my brands. This right here is gonna be my go-to. One more spin for you guys. Bingo. 
All right, man, there you have it. Seen what both jackets look like. You seen what I like and what I don't like in both of them. You make your decision if you wanted to offer some jackets like this, figure out what type of material you wanna press onto these things, whether it's a transfer, whether it's patches, whether you wanna get it embroidered. Remember, if you're ordering transfers and putting this thing underneath the heat, make sure you're buying the correct transfer made for nylon. Do not try to press some stuff made for cotton onto this nylon jacket because you might melt the jacket. Now, if you got any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments for me. This helps me out. If I get enough of the same question, I'll make a video about it. That's why I made this video about these jackets because people were asking about baseball jackets. I didn't know what a baseball jacket was. These things are called varsity jackets on a lot of these websites. And for your information, when I go to the Impressions Expo, this is the kind of stuff I'm looking for. I'll have something in my mind like, hey, I wanna offer jackets next year. I look at every single vendor at the Impressions Expo, at the trade show, that's offering jackets. I'll talk to them, I'll feel the jacket. If they have my size, I'll try it on. I find out what pricing is, I find out where their warehouses are located, and I find out how I could create an account with them so I could start ordering some samples from them. This is how I found these jackets, was doing the same exact thing, going to the Impressions Expo and looking around. Same way I found the people that made my Letterman coats, same way I found the coaches' jackets, the windbreaker that I use, the anorak windbreakers that I use, all of that stuff I find at the Impressions Expo. That's why it's so beneficial to go to these trade shows. So that way you can touch and feel and actually see stuff. A lot of people go to these trade shows and they're overwhelmed by a million different things going. There's machines over here, there's transfers over here, there's vinyl companies here, all the blank manufacturers, there's machines going off, there's noise and everybody's so overwhelmed. But when you go to these trade shows, go with a plan in mind. For myself, if I wanted to offer jackets the following year, I'm going there looking for a jacket vendor. If I wanted to offer fitted hats, I'm going looking for a fitted hat vendor. That's what these trade shows are for, all right? Now, like I said, if you got questions, leave it in the comments for me. Follow me on Instagram, BigBrandoTV. Catch you guys on the next one, man, yeah.